December the 5th or 6th, something like that. I'm in a section of the stream that's just exited the Ozarks, basically, and it's now in the lowlands. Uh, from April until around mid-October to Halloween, this is always very dingy. But around Halloween until April, it turns real green. And it's real slow holes. There's still some rapids, but not very, it, not enough to that a person can't paddle through it by themselves. And this is a section of the stream I've never fished. It's called this particular hole. It's called the Blue Hole. Not because it's blue in color. It's spelled B-L-E-U. Blue Hole. And I've never tried here except from the bank one time. But I've never put the canoe in there. So that's my goal today. I'm just trying to explore some new areas. My main two species probably will be spotted bass and a crappie if I'm lucky. Um, I'm just wanting to do something different and I'm tired of going to the same old place. So this was a good idea just to do something different. We're going to see what we can get on today guys. All I got to do is slide this canoe down the hill and we're good to go. Very pretty stream at this time of the year. Now in the summer, it's just unfishable basically. But right now it's just real clear. Amazing looking. Really nice looking guys. It just left the Ozark Hills about three miles back, three miles upriver. We're in total flatland now. something guys I just have that feeling I will get lucky I'll get something now, this canoe is gonna be easy to get in but kind of hard to get out it's gonna be rough getting it back out later there we go oh yeah nice one I got something nice guys yes didn't take too long, about 10 minutes. Of course, I spent five of those 10 minutes tying on new lures. And my exact guess, them pretty winter spotted bass on the Bandit 200 mistake. It's red on one side and chartreuse on the other. Pretty, I love them spotted bass in the winter, the way they look. They just, their colors just come to life, guys. Wow, especially in this gin clear water. That's awesome. I was just about to change this crankbait because I thought maybe it's a little too loud for this clear water, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. Not too bad. It's a good start. Yes, indeed. See if there's another one back in there. After three hours without a fish, I just landed a nice spotted bass below this bridge. I have went literally a mile and a half up a river. Man, that is a nice one. Wow. Oh, he is barely hooked. He is a beaut. What a beaut. Oh man, now that's a nice winter spotted bass right there, guys. Oh my goodness. Yes, indeed, wowzers. Whew. Now that's what it's all about. It, I have not caught a single fish in three hours. I caught one at the very first hole I was in, and I have went two miles upriver to get this one fish. Made it worth it though to me. Nice. 
spotted bass right there. He's pushing almost two pounds. That is a beaut. Wow. Heck yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, that made it a little more worth coming. I have put a lot of effort into this one fish, guys. I paddled my butt off. I could have easily got by with using the motor. And uh, I just didn't. Didn't bring it at all. Wow. And this bridge really didn't make a hole or nothing. I just got real lucky. Cause I've been throwing pretty much anywhere and everywhere. There's really no holes up here is the problem. Everything's six to seven foot deep. It's about the same everywhere. But there's a little tiny side spot over here with no current. And he was right on the edge of that where it meets the current. And this bridge could board out just a little. I could be wrong about that. But it don't seem any different here. I know one thing where there's one, there's usually another one, guys. Let's see. Well, guys, like I said, it's been fun. At least I know now how far I can go up. I don't know if I'll be back. It just don't seem to have enough holes. But I'm glad I did it. So, I'm going to get back to the car. i got a good hour paddle, so it's going to be a long journey. I'm going to try not to fish until I get there. Maybe fish that hole where I caught, right by the car. But it was nice to get out and explore and just learn something different. I don't regret coming. Until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.